Don't forget this is Lube. And uh, today I thought I would go through the Uniqlo and JW Anderson collab. I know you guys are probably like me and you're really trying to uh, get out of quarantine and you probably have your fit all lined out at the end of your bed so that uh, your first night out after quarantine you have it all ready to go. And um, also, um, unfortunately, um, I'm tearing through boxes of Caramel Delights, so I may need to purchase some new pants, and I was looking forward to this JW Anderson collection. I really like Uniqlo. I think they have the current best fit in the fast fashion uh, between, like, you know, like H&M, Zara, brands like that, between, you know, trendy uh, solid quality clothing as well as being really really affordable so I'll quickly scroll through the collection but I did want to focus on the uh, Uniqlo pants and you know I'll do when these pants come in I'll do a video uh, showing the pants that I wear that I already have and then how these pants look on me and that'll give you guys an even better feel uh, for if you want to go ahead and uh, purchase them yourself but this outerwear uh, is pretty solid as well. Just not really anything I need. Um, I do work usually when I'm not, you know, working from home. Just like I'm sure all of you are now, or uh, just finishing up school, so you're relaxing. Um, I have a lot of this business casual stuff, but a lot of this is going to be really versatile clothing that you're going to be able to wear in a lot of different situations, so you'll be able to get the most out of it. What is it? Hmm. So yeah, J.W. Anderson, he's known for his sort of uh, crazy pattern combinations. So for example, we'll check out this checkered long sleeve, or short sleeve, obviously. The uh, So there is the, you know, you see the checkered print, but then it also has the pinstripes on the other side. So in that way, it sort of adds some, uh, a nice little, you know, a, a little spice, a, a little nutmeg, a little tart mick, uh to your outfit. So that's really what he's known for, and then... It's a little more formal, men's wary. But this shirt, just, just don't get this shirt. That's this. That's okay. It's okay. Okay, we'll go to the pants. That's really what I'm after. I'm always after the pants. So these are the drawstring pants. I know. Um, I I I always wear a belt. So if you guys wear a belt, if you want to flex your designer, um, so these do have belt loops as well as the elastic so that'll give you some give I do like when they have the small medium large fits uh, it's not gonna be as form-fitting but it's gonna give you uh, some room whether you uh, need an inch whether you have too many uh, caramel delights or uh, whatever the case may be so just a quick scroll ski is the uh, JW Anderson logo and we'll take a look at how they fit on the model um, so we can see right, sorry, we can see, uh, right here. <laughs> um, so the pants are going to sit right above the ankle and this is really going to let you be able to show off you know, your shoes as well as give you, you know, the look that the pants are more form fitting because you, you don't really want the pants to really bag anymore. It's going to give you, um, a more unkempt look. So, and then this way you sort of are able to fully show off your shoes and you also, uh, with giving you the same effect, sort of as a jogger, uh, but without having the teleport back to 2014, uh, to, you know, in order to wear them. So following sort of the modern trend and aesthetic to wear sort of the wider leg pant, but keeping it skiing down the bottom and wearing maybe a slim or a chunky shoe, both would actually... I think would work pretty well here. Maybe here I would go with something uh, low profile. Um, and at the end of the sh at the end of the video, maybe I'll show you a couple shoes that I think would go pretty well with a lot of these pants in the collection. So I do like these. Um, all three of these colors are going to go with pretty much everything that you could possibly pick out. So I really don't think you can go wrong. You can definitely wear these more casually. They should be really comfortable with that drawstring. You have plenty of room, but then you could also dress them up. You know, tuck in the drawstrings and throw on a collar shirt. Maybe a polo shirt would look real nice with this in the summer. I wear pants all year round. I don't know about you guys, but I really do not like shorts that much. 
So we have the men's stretch slim fit pants. Sixty dollars, so a little more on the pricey side, but still fairly reasonable for what you're getting. Uh, these are actually going to be a little bit more of a formal look, but still really comfortable. You see, this man is pulling them, but he cannot because of his tiny. He's got really tiny. Look at those hands. Uh, <laughs> so any man. I mean, I don't know, but I could definitely do this guy's job. Um, and the thing with Uniqlo is I feel like a lot of people are turned off because their, like, models are, like, the fits that they put them in are just atrocious. Like, like this solid JW, like, this will be way more egregious when we get, when I show you some of the other pants on this site. But, like, these Sandalonis, like, I don't know. Like, I can, Birkenstocks are one thing. I love my Birkenstocks. But, um... Yeah, they just don't really give you realistic outfits that you can wear. Um, I'll point this out later when it's more when it's more uh, ridiculous. I mean, this is actually no more. More than I look at it, this fit is fine. Uh, so we're looking at the pants in particular. Um, so these are going to be more of a formal look. I wouldn't really wear these with. Sorry, this is my Chrome extension that sort of zooms in images. It's usually more useful when you're not online shopping. Um, but these are gonna be more formal, so I don't know. You could wear them with a sneaker. That's really a thing that's uh, that's that's a thing that's happening right now. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I personally would not do it myself. Um, the worst, the most I would do would be, you know, wearing a pair of khakis. But with this dressier kind of material, yeah, this polyester uh, material, um, I don't know if that's gonna. Get, I, I'm not like the biggest fan of that look. But in general, if you're wearing these with um, like a Doc Martin or uh, Common Projects, uh, like the Achilles Low or a pair of, I mean, I'll pull some up. Been a big fan of the Nike Kill Shot. I think will go very well with these. The um, yeah, so these, yeah, these would look nice. See, this guy's got a little crop action. And then, Common Projects, if you're feeling basically the very pricey version, or the Margiela Replica, that doesn't mean Replica as in fake, that is Replica as in the Replica of uh, the of the military sneaker so yeah something like this so that's what I recommend for basically most of these kind of pants but uh, pants are really an um, important part of the outfit because the way that the shoe in the pant leg interacts is uh, pretty important for tying the whole outfit together unless you you know you can incorporate your socks and a whole lot of other things so these are the active pants, sort of touching on the techwear vibes. Uh, so you have some slight detailing there to you know um, keep the keep the attention around your pants area, which is half the battle. Um, I'm kind of a fan of these navy ones. So again, playing on that techie look and the uh, current cargo trend, which again is not my favorite look, but I, I do think that this J.W. Anderson collection does it pretty well. Here you could fit maybe a pocket calculator or a Tamagotchi. Something like that would definitely uh, be ideal for these pants, but I do like these pants. So if I had to rank them, I'd probably go... I think the drawstring pants are my favorite, followed by the active pants, and then the stretch pants, but I am probably a little biased because I do already have a very similar pair of uh, Uniqlo of the, uh, I believe they're called the the Easy Pant uh, by them, and a couple different weights, but it's more of a dress pant. It's really, I only wear them you know, to work. Um, just like a business casual environment, um, so that may be why. But this, um, these are probably the nicest pair. But if you're looking for 
uh, something that you can wear in multiple different ways, then you might want to go with the drawstring pant, followed by you know the active pant, because you can uh, not only wear them as pants, but you can also be very active. So yeah, J.W. Anderson this is a very solid collection. I like when Uniqlo brings together these artists uh, or uh, designers that you don't usually get the chance to purchase from, whether because of price point or just availability. So, for example, what I'm wearing right now is a Cause and Peanuts collab with Uniqlo. So that really uh, brings people a way that they can easily access Cause. You know, Cause is obviously probably the most popular Uniqlo collab. Just quickly run through. They have a really cool feature on their jeans, which unfortunately is unavailable currently because of some virus everyone's talking about. Like for example, this model, I would say, his pants are too long. I do not like how the cuff looks on these pants. Uh, so these, I think, would benefit by, by being a little shorter. So if you're wanting that, so they do have the size assist, which is nice. Um, so it's pretty close in the votings. Um, Basically, they have no idea what size I should wear. Like, this is an exact toss-up. So in this case, I always size up because I, I always wear a belt. So it's not really too much of an issue. And I like having a little bit of room, especially in a brand. Um, Uniqlo does fit a little tighter in the legs. So you won't have as much room. Um, so if you have trunks such as myself or uh, some... I've been told that I'm dragging a wagon behind, so um, if you are fit either of those cases, um, hit me up. But also, um, you might want to just get it a half inch up because Uniqlo does fit a little smaller and a little bit more tapered. So I'll show you my measurements so you can sort of get a feel for what you would you would order. I am uh, a male. Um, I was I was let down by their options, but um, I went with male. Uh, height 57 however on um, on the internet I tell people that I'm 61 uh, weight 180 pounds of pure muscle lean 7% uh, body fat uh, belly ab belly shape uh, very fit six-pack abs age 69 so say these are very solid pair of jeans you can't really go wrong um, it's really going to taint see this is what I'm talking about like this this guy looks spooked out of his mind. Um, this uh, looks like the guy from Stranger Things all grown up. But then um, probably would have been all the Demogorgons that would have brought him to this point in his life where he's modeling for Uniqlo. Now, I'm, I, my dream is to be a, a website model one day. Um, so you can <laughs> go to alterations, and there are a couple different options. It's getting late, guys. It's getting late. Um... So you can do, you know, sort of like the the standard kind of look. And look, free, free for items above $20. This is great. So these are like the, the alterations that you would get from a tailor, and they'll just do them for you. So this is going to give you, if you know that the length is going to be right, you can go with this, and it'll cut off at right the exact point, and it'll give you that clean look. The stitch, if you want a little detailing, and I'm actually thinking about going with the cutoff stitch, a little bit trendier, and maybe we'll cut off the ways that you can wear the pant, but it's going to add just that little bit of flair, that little bit of nutmeg on your outfit. It's going to help it uh, stand out, and it's a nice touch. I like those little details that they consider, so you can get that as well. I thought that was cool. I wanted to bring that up. We'll just quickly scroll through the Uniqlo. Good lord. Uniqlo U collection as well. Uh, so the JW Anderson collection is pretty good. Um, maybe the rest of the week I'll go over the it's coming up. Uh, Palace is coming out. The Supreme drop as well. Things like that. Um, and so I think you guys like those videos. Um, I will do a video on my Uniqlo pants.